Yeah. You know, like, frog it, and, you know, yeah. get bird, diesel, get, you know. So it, I just thought, I'm not going to let it get scrapped. No, that's what's no. happening now. Those, those look like brand new tires. They are on the front, and then on the back are old, like, fake white walls. Yeah. These, these are all the fender yeah. struts. You're saying the drive gear's been redone, so he yeah. rebuilt the engine and the, and the okay, transmission? It sent out and done, yeah. Oh, yeah. Red and everything. Oh, yeah. okay. The running gear's done. Okay. So supposedly you can put some fuel in it. And, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's nice every once in a while to see a period specific piece, eh? Yeah, yeah. So this is my. This is where we kind of put stuff together. Yeah. Um. So these. These came. These are these go. Oh. So wow. he's bought them somewhere. Wow. And then. Uh, I should make sure I have more dogs, by the way. Is that who's coming along with this? Yeah, this car came and everything yeah. here and everything. Okay, took the carb off, blew the carb out, sanded off the points, which were bad. I think we got spark now. Um, got our jerry can in there and the fuel pump, pulled a little bit of fuel through, so the carbs got fuel. So now uh, we'll, I'll choke it manually here while my little assistant there is gonna try and crank it over and uh, see what happens. Give her. <laughs> Make sure the starter's not getting hot. Yeah, we're okay. All right, I'm gonna stick my face over top there. All right, let's try it again. To hammer that hard, like you really gotta, almost if you wanna sit in there and kick it, that's fine too.
pulled all the plugs off. I think it's only running on two cylinders. So I got a spark plug kit in the shop there. We'll throw some uh, wires on there, see if it makes a difference. But uh, it was fun driving around on two cylinders anyway. Let's <laughs> see what happens. So these plugs, these uh, wires are very simple. Take the boot off, new wires on one end, and then it's just a simple little cap that you slide into the center here and then fold it over and then push it in. Of course the new coil is too big for the holder. Do one at a time so you don't get the firing order wrong. I think the firing order on every six cylinder is one, five, three, six, two, four. But one through four we're not firing, so let's try this. Actually only running on two cylinders, not only were the wires not working, it was in the complete wrong firing order. So it is 153624. Um, sounds much, much better. A little stutter at uh, off idle, but that's alright. And actually the fuel gauge. I don't know about, but the uh, it is charging, and the um, oil pressure does work, and so does the temperature. And the speedo works too, so we're pretty excited about that. Dash looks good, so it needs some uh, needs a floor, a whole new doors for it. But we're in good shape, and. Uh, Um, we're laughing. So, wonderful. So you're probably wondering what's next and why I have a trailer full of doors and hoods and an old ladder. That's pretty cool. And fenders and whatever else. This is a 1947 Chevrolet Style Master. That was donated to Rick Osborne. You guys might have seen the interview with him I did uh, a little while ago. And uh, he runs Truth For Teens. And um, he uh, doesn't know what to do with the car. He's working on a Z71. So he gave me a car and we're gonna put this together. We're gonna work with some of the youth and the, and the young guys. We're gonna put this car back together and probably auction it off at the end. And then the proceeds go towards Truth For Teens and uh, Rick's ministry. So there's a trunk full of stuff. There's more stuff yet at uh, Rick's, but it seems like there's three cars here. Um, there's already a dash in the car that's in good shape. And here's another one. Um, the chrome's not great. And unfortunately, that's the worst part of the car. These, there's four doors there that look like they are original paint and in excellent shape. And you see this one's been worked on and never finished. It's got a tin plate on there and it's kind of pokey. Um, but we got the car running. It actually runs really good. Supposedly this has been rebuilt. Uh, he's got the receipts for that along with the transmission. Brake lines have all been done. Uh, I don't know. I got to open up the brakes yet to take a look at it. But got some brand new tires with it. Um, it's been a while since this project's been started. But uh, he's got rocker panels and sill plates and uh, a bunch more fenders uh, that we all got. So we're gonna, basically, the only way to go about this project is to put the car back together again and uh, see, kind of do an inventory check, see which pieces are the best, uh, take it apart again, uh, catalog it, and then put it back together again, uh, painted and finished. So the interior will be the most expensive part, I think. Other than that, I'm uh, pretty excited about this project. Driving that car around is kind of a hoot. Um, all the glass is there, all the rubber is there, um, all the little trim pieces seem to be there. Um, there's another batch right here. So we got to start figuring out what we got and what we need and, uh, and then go from there. So uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit overwhelming, but I think it will be all right. So I need some ideas on colors and I'd like some ideas on um, a name for the project. I'm thinking uh, like a red maroon color. I think the chrome plastic matte black with a pearl white interior and pearl white painted dash and some black stitching on the um, seats would look really nice. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. 
So the car's together for the most part. Uh, you're gonna get the guys to come over sometime soon and uh, do an inventory check on all the chrome pieces. I see that the new doors must be a different year because there's chrome, uh, there's chrome pieces here, but there's none of the holes for it in the, in the new doors. So it must be, I think the model from 41 to 48 is this type of body style. So uh, um, overall the gaps even turned out pretty nice. So um, this project shouldn't be too, too bad. But uh, this is about five hours of work, just putting them back together again. I gotta find all the pieces and start doing a little catalog, make sure we have everything. And then uh, we'll uh, figure out the color and get some brakes going on it because we can go we can't stop though and uh that'll be it there we go so follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from ferraris to chainsaws and check out the tape box my newest invention that's coming to market and remember if you're not filthy you're not rich <laughs>